long for town then to get us underway with the recent signing from Galway United. Jordan Alayemo getting the game underway. It's the third Midlands derby of the season. And as I said there, in the uh, the build-up to the game, Longford looking to make it 20 in a row unbeaten against their rivals from Lizzie Woolen. An early free kick, though. Time's there as well, so we know what we can do. Some early pressing here from Longford Town. It goes back to the Atlone goalkeeper who sends it long up towards Barnes. There is Barker. Heads it back towards the halfway line. And an early ball out towards Thomas Alua. He's going to take on Shane Elworthy. We know Alou has got pace. Bags of it. A really good early cross towards Barnes. Lynch only half clears it. It falls here to Lennon at the back post. Lennon takes one or two many touches perhaps. And the chance, the space just closed in on Lennon there. And it's an easy save in the end for Dennis. Forward again. That was a ball into the path of Armstrong. But did Luke Dennison reads it well. Did four on the, did four on the attack there, Kieran. You know, they're, re they're really pushing bodies forward and yep. trying, to, trying to nip the ball off Longford here. Adeyemo switches it out to Shane Elworthy who's always happy to get forward he's having probably one of his best ever seasons in a Longford Town shirt and he lays it out wide to Carl Chambers Chambers with the cross is just over the head of Adeyemo but Ben Lynch has come all the way from left back here to back up the play good positive play from Lynch Robinson first time cross what a ball into McGerson that's a brilliant save by the Atlone Town goalkeeper McGerson will keep the attack alive it's not over yet here's Robinson again and the keeper that was a difficult one but he's gathered it really well but after what a slow a save hit that one but again there's a town player backing up the player that's good to see it's Carl Chambers this time who keeps it in just on that stand side and he's given it away and this is one man you don't want to give the ball away to is Thomas Alua he's got lots of time and space to run into he plays it inside to Armstrong Lennon's free as a bird out on the right Armstrong keeps it and he takes the shot and that was a poor option in the end from the Atlone midfielder yeah, he straight at Luke Dennison there but uh, they the give it away cheaply in their own area but they've managed to half clear it for now anyway but uh, that's cheaply given away by Aru in towards Adeyemo couldn't take it down though but yeah, uh, some flashes of, of technical great, brilliance there from Longford Town yeah a great tackle there by the end there but yeah. was, uh, that passage of play had it all some lovely free flowing football from Longford that bit of skill from Chambers but what a tackle it was from Aaron, Aaron McBride on McGurson timed to perfection well, it must be these uh, orange flashy boots that some of them are wearing there Burke they're pulling off some uh, outrageous skill here's Oshin Duffy Lennon straight away on the move but it goes inside to Armstrong he finds Barnes this is a promising move by the Westmead side Barnes with Armstrong he's beaten a couple of tackles and a good strike on goal but it's gathered by Luke Dennison it's just another one straight down the barrel there yeah straight. Barker is on for goal from left to right for a ball from Barker is intercepted Alua who's uh, gone out of the game in the last while he's not able to hold this one up for Athlone so that'll give O'Brien a chance to come forward O'Brien with a nasty shot on goal a really good save again Early contender for man of the match is uh, the Atlone netminder. A little bit of uh, maybe hesitation there in the back four of Atlone, but they managed to get the continue ball. despite the warm conditions. It's quite a, a taxing night here at Bishopsgate. Very, very humid conditions, but uh, the players seem to be enjoying it out there at the moment. Well, it's definitely been an entertaining one so far, Burke, for anyone that's tuning in. Again, good build-up play from Atlone. And Armstrong, he's caught the eye here in the opening. 35 minutes, he gives it out to Alua. Alua with the cross. Oh, and that could have gone anywhere. But that in the end, it'll be a goal kick. Dennison, think he... Long ball up towards Alua, who wins the first header. Ben Lynch reads that well. It was a difficult ball. It just bounced in front of him. But Lynch loses out in the tackle. It falls here to Adam Lennon, who's going to have a go off the left. Oh, and that's a really good effort from Lennon. He's just leaning back slightly as so the ball elevates over the bar. But a reminder from Lennon... Awesome. And uh, Barker booked while Alua goes into the notebook there. But Longford still have this free kick to defend. Plenty of bodies forward here. Longford have brought everybody back. Oh, and that was a really good ball in. It's still in play here. Hickey's going to head it back towards goal. Alua with the bicycle! What a goal, what Thomas a Alua! Goal. He's been booked moments ago, but he's put that out of his mind. And uh, he's used his creativity here to great effect. A delicious overhead kick from Thomas Alua. He gets his seventh goal of the season. And how about that for the opening goal of the Midlands derby, Lyle Fitzpatrick? Well, it was a fantastic cross in, and you just watch him here, look. The keeper had no chance. There was uh, good power behind it. But a fantastic, fantastic goal, and Longford have it all to do. Where Longford just caught ball watching there because it looked like they thought the ball was going to go out, but Hickey's kept it in play. A lot of town players, Longford town players, standing like statues. You no, can't, can't switch off there, Kieran. You know, maybe they did, but I think it was the, the initial free kick in, the delivery was great, and as you said, he got, he got the ball back in, but. 
That's, that's the, what they're going for, but they have a dangerous attack here now with the corner. Yeah, one recent sign in is Adam Lennon. He takes this corner. And that's a header from Hickey. It's cleared off the line by Matthew O'Brien. Actually, it was Corbally. They're both wearing orange boots, but make things happen too yeah. at the same time. That'll be what Longford Town fans will be saying. This is a, a result that certainly would not go down well in these parts. Ball towards the back post where Carl Chambers is going to latch onto it with a first time volley. Really difficult skill to execute. He gave it a good go, but it flies oh. over in the end. We might see a bit more of him. I think Corbally has been playing in that 10 roll throughout, to be honest. Um, wouldn't necessarily agree on that one. I'm, I'm not, surprised myself that the Chambers is the player for, replaced. And I'm not calling for him to be subbed because he's had a, a poor performance. I'm just saying that that's the substitution I thought Carrie Cronin might have went with. But obviously not. Look, he, he sees the players week in, week out. We don't. Some hesitation. Oh, no. Not again. It's in the back of the net. And how often this season have we seen miscommunication between centre half and Longford Town goalkeeper? And it's another calamity at the back. It's have to, happened far too often this season. This could be the most damaging one yet. This could be the goal that uh, ends Longford's spell of dominance in this fixture. It's going to be an own goal from Michael Barker. He's not at home so many for the Longford Town this season, but he's put one in the back of his own net. And uh, it is the worst way to concede a goal. And it's 2-0 to that lone town with 25 minutes to play. Even those with the strongest red and black tinted glass, glasses on, no one could argue at Lone Town don't deserve this lead oh, no. at Bishopsgate this evening. They've been the far better team, far more effective team. Eric Malloy looking to add some effect to the game. His shot is blocked. Robinson to McMenemy. He's got Elworthy outside. That's where he goes. Elworthy with the cross. This is a better one. Oh, Malloy nods it back towards Adeyemo. And again, take two. Just not his night, I'm afraid. Forget about it. <laughs> Not be finished yet, but Longford are looking to respond now. Adeyemo, good touch into O'Brien. O'Brien, too many touches. He's not the only player that's been guilty of that in a red and black shirt this evening. McMenemy, he's going to try and drive town up the pitch. Adeyemo, better from him, good feet. Robinson towards the back stick where Elworthy's waiting. Can Elworthy find a teammate here with a low cross? Good ball into Corbally, cuts in onto his left. Shot is blocked, header towards goal. Longford Town are back in the game. I think it might be Dean McMenemy that's turned that one in. We'll get a look at the replay. It's a fortunate goal for Longford Town, but I suppose they'll say the second goal at Lone scored was very, very fortunate. So that's football for you, but Longford Town certainly back in this game. Here's the replay. Corbally, his shot blocked. And yet, quick thinking, quick header from Dean McMenemy, and it's 2 1. Armstrong towards the front post. Luke Dennison not overly commanding, but thankfully Dean McMenemy was there to clear that one. O'Brien loses his foot at the wrong time. Armstrong, who took the corner, has it again for Atlone. Good ball into the channel for the substitute, McCauley. McCauley takes a touch inside the penalty area, scoops it towards the back post. Oh, it's a great touch from Barnes. Oh, that should have been the winner. And ben Lynch was just caught out there with the ball, but what's the, the not catching Lennon if he gets the ball there. Clock running down. Ben Lynch needs to try and get a ball in two, here. Just yeah, two and a bit minutes to use go. Use it. Use it. And here's Lennon. He's onside. And oh. Dennison, he's hesitated. And Lennon, one on one, to put the derby to bed for Athlone Town. He goes round the goalkeeper. He puts it in the back of the net. And that long, long, unbeaten run is over for Longford Town. They have been beaten here by their Midland rivals. It's Adam Lennon who's put the icing on the cake for Athlone Town. 3 1. And you could see it coming there, Kieran, on the. Dennison comes two or three yards and then hesitates and decides to go back and it's just a simple one-on-one -on -one there and he has the lone player has the composure to put it away but it's a very 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 disappointing frustrating result for Longford tonight. Yeah, there's gonna be.